What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to DC Unplugged, and today I'm actually in the car, and we're pretty much about ready to go to um, basically the Anzac um, Park that we're going to go to scoot for on the 500 subscribers. So the reason why I'm going there is because I found a little off-road track there. Now you can see the beast is just in the car with us right now, and um, and yeah, so. Uh, we're going to go there and see this off-road track just for a couple of people that may be interested in, you know, letting off a bit of extra juice that they might have and have a bit of fun through there. I've got all my safety gear with us today, so I'll be padding up and everything like that for the video, um, just in case they do get a little bit uh, too carried away. Um, but it's without saying, the elephant in the room is, uh, well, I'm starting to outgrow this poor little car. I've got my red car back. Um, they obviously named, uh, named Piccolo, which is my little uh, 2011 Fiat 500 of Bath. So I'll roll through some photos and slow motion stuff as I'm talking, and you'll see it in the background. It's a little bit of a project car, um, but I will be selling that or this car in next year, in 2023, so um, I can get a bigger car for doing some more videos and content for you guys. Um, to be honest, I actually really, really like um, making this content, stuff like that, so I'm prepping myself for the future as well. So, yeah, next year, it's probably going to go, which is really sad, uh, but yeah, anyway, let's hit the road, and uh, let's go and have a look at this track that is meant to link to um, Anzac Park. <laughs> What's going on guys? So I've made it to the track. I've got mad helmet hair. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's called Tree Frog Trail, so or track. So that's the sign over there. Um, but yeah, so I found the entrance. Uh, what we're gonna do is, I've, as you can see here, I've all padded up, um, head to toe. Got my, uh, even my leg ones on there. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna put you on the top of my helmet so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Um, and try and get that set up as perfect as possible in a wide view so you can see everything. Um, I'm not too sure how it's gonna go in the darker areas because I do know this is like a valley so it goes up and down, up and down. Um, but hopefully you can see as much as I can see. Um, I'm not too sure if you're gonna be able to see my speed so I do apologize for that because I, I know where it sits, it kind of blocks it out. You'll see a little bit of my helmet. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, that's all ready, pretty much geared up. The beast is ready to gear up and ready to go. So. Um, yeah, nothing else more to it apart from strapping onto my helmet and uh, let's hit a trail. All right, so I didn't bring my gloves. I did forget them, uh, but uh, probably go single mode just for this single part here, just so I can get a feel for it. All right, so it's definitely bumpy. I believe this is where we start. Um, from memory, I have seen this spot before, and then it just goes down pretty much to just bushland. Pretty cool path though. Okay, so we are gonna go up this way. May have a little too much spaghetti. Bigger out this way. Ah, uh, yes, I have seen this one. All right, cool. Yeah, nice. Oh, she's big and ruddy. But we've got that big, massive grand clearance on the beast, so we are good. Oh, can we drop down that? Yep, we can. Oh, yep. Sweet. That front just has no grip. 
doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> so yeah, we'll keep the speed going on here because we've got a big hill. Just tie the lean forward and grip into that dirt. Oh. Man, this track is a whole blast to go through. All right, so I think we have done that. It was the 1600 kilometer. Says I only done 1K though on the uh, three meter. So I don't know if this is wrong or that's wrong, depending on which way I went, I guess. I think I went the wrong way, but that was fun. You can see me wheel spinning all the way up here. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of runoff area. Oh, that was some air. <laughs> oh, not double airing today. No, thank you. Rock, don't want to hit that. What does that one say? Dog track Market Street. It looks kind of fun. <sighs> oh. All right, let's go that way. the pace when I'm running, I always take what I want and I always give it 100, don't need a bank or I'm funded, play the game like it's nothing, I'm always thankful for something, don't take for granted, stay humble, now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy, look in the mirror if he is no friend to me, it's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry, it's time to break up so I can make a better me, better believe in your mind cause it's everything, you can mold shape, find almost anything, all right guys, so I'm hot and bothered. That thing did really well and I'm pretty sure you would have seen in the video as it gave it a bit of a rough time, but what a cool bit of kit to have out and something like this, bit of land or something like that. If you had like a property like this, this thing would just excel. So I can really see why the um, beast is so popular when it comes to off-roading. So that thing, boogies. <laughs> it is a whole bunch of fun. Um, I, love, I love every bit of that scooter. It is just, insane insane fun and it's got the power and grunt to get you up some seriously inclined hills i think i was uh one of those ones that you would have seen there i did a couple jumps um that incline was about 15 percent on dirt and it just pulled me off it like it was nothing so that is just insane so but anyway guys i thought i'd bring you to the park so this is the anzac park um kind of like it part of the anzac park i had a bit of a ride to get here um but nonetheless that thing did well really really impressed with it those shots i dare say i haven't seen them yet and i'll find out when i edit um, but they looked amazing on the gopro so hopefully i can smash them all together and they look really good for you guys and i hope you all enjoy i do have a facebook page guys if you want to roll over to facebook um, you can see all the uh, behind the scenes stuff uh, some even some cruises that i have planned and all sorts of stuff over there and even sometimes i'm in the in the hopefully in the near distant future i'll have some cool stuff to be able to win so move on over to the DC Unplugged Facebook page and I'll see you there as well as ride safe out there guys. Wear a helmet, pad up if need be and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.